whenever you look at a stocks big moves or at the beginning of a big moves you will many time or most of the time you will find that there will be some sort of a news and the news leads to moves and uh, recently if you look at like say last two days ago or on friday uh, the stock qtera had a news of a new product approval and then immediately it jumped in last two days just like in two days it has jumped 27 percent and if you keep looking at moves throughout the um, when you study longer term moves or when you study moves of longer duration you will see at the beginning of those moves there is some sort of a news catalyst and paying attention to news catalyst and especially when a stock reacts with a high volume to a news catalyst uh, and after that it pulls back it can offer you an opportunity to get into a good move so jwn is a good example of this here on this particular day uh, it traded 68 million shares uh, when it came out with earnings and then it had a pullback and from there it has now recovered around 20 percent similarly if you see bed bath and beyond uh, there was an earnings news right and on the earnings day there was 105 million shares traded a lot of shares were traded and it had a very uh, orderly pullback after that and now it's up 29 percent from that particular thing so pay attention to news catalyst news catalyst uh, where the volume it goes up like this are like game changers and this kind of a volume when you see especially when you see the kind of volumes like 68 million or like the very big volumes you will see that those volumes are indicative of big buying by mutual funds or big buying by hedge funds or big buying by institutional and that after that particular news catalyst either you buy on the news catalyst day uh, or you wait for a pullback or some sort of a consolidation and buy but if you study a lot of news uh, a lot of long term moves you'll always find that at the beginning of those long term moves there'll be news catalyst like upst went up a lot last year and when it went up a last uh, lot last year this was based on an earning news of and then it traded 18 million shares and from there it went up 134 percent so news should not be ignored especially when stock reacts with a very high volume of 10 million 20 million 30 million 40 million 50 million shares traded on news that always is something you should keep track of because then that is likely to lead to a big moves tracking these large volume moves and then keeping a watch list of stocks which react positively or negatively to a news will allow you to find some trades with a pretty low risk after the news like say facebook for that matter after the news has kept selling off right 187 million shares were traded on this day when they missed earnings and after that it kept going down 20 percent so this news catalyst plays a very important role in moves in stock so if you can understand news catalyst and build method around news catalyst which lead to large extraordinary volume spikes you will find that you might be able to get into a lot of big moves right at the beginning or you might be able to find 20 30 40 percent kind of moves with a low risk once the news catalyst plays itself out and there is a consolidation or there is a pullback so just don't look at news as something to be ignored use news and create a news based trading system and that can help you a lot because almost every single stock which you will see which makes a big move starts with some sort of a news if you see amd amd started its long move with a news here where it traded almost 192 million shares or it traded 194 before that also there was a news and it traded 145 million and then since then it kept going up similarly if you see square here on a news 43.9 million shares were traded and from that particular news almost the stock went up 500 percent so 
these large news based moves which happen are something if you track you will find some of the largest moves in the market or some of the biggest moves in the market at the beginning of their move there will be a news catalyst so track news catalyst daily and especially track stocks which react very positively to a news catalyst in this case a new product launch or a new product approval by fda triggered this particular move and this might be the start of a big move in this particular stock yeah it might pull back and set up again and it might have multiple legs based on news so news can make you money if you track it daily